Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a full step-by-step -step guide tonight showing how to test and replace the glow plugs on this 2015 Skoda Octavia 2 litre TDI. Now I can use this same procedure for doing the glow plugs on any of the this later 2 litre TDI. I've seen quite a few of the Skodas, some of the Volkswagens and some others as well. So I'll just show you quickly. We didn't actually notice the fault through poor starting. The main reason that uh, it's come up as an issue is the little engine light there is on the dash all the time now we did code read it about a week ago and it had two fault codes in there it actually had p0672 and 673 and that was cylinder two and cylinder three glow plug circuit after about two days the engine lights come back on and plugged it in and we've now got p0673 glow plug cylinder three circuit fault so i'm just going to run you through how to test all the glow plugs and how to replace them as well so quite a straightforward job on these later two liters so, so um, just before we get into the video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content but quite a few other videos on the, uh, the volkswagen group stuff that you might want to check out as well so. and if you check out the link in the description below at any point i'll put links to all the parts and all the tools used as well um, first thing we're going to do, just got the engine cover here, it just simply clips on some little bobbins, that just pops off. We'll just get that out of the way and then run you through everything a step at a time. Alright, so if you just come down, we've got the uh, glow plugs located just down here. There's one there, another one there, one just there, get out from that side, and another one just under there as well. Now, just before we attempt to get the caps off there, I'll just show you quickly. Most on these, uh, most of these later two liters, they'll have three normal style glow plugs. You might have four in there, but a lot of them have got one cylinder sense in one. And I'll put a link in the description below to these. They are a lot more money than the normal ones. They're actually like a pressure sensing glow plug, so just slightly different. Um, but to start with, all we're going to do is just simply use a pair of pliers, just gently pull these caps off the plugs, all four of them. Just got to sort of work them a little bit as you just pry them up gently and you'll be able to get all them up and out of the way. And then we'll run you through just how to test them. Now, so now that we've got the leads off, just show you the glow plugs. You can just see number one there, number two, and number three is the, you can see it looks different, that's the cylinder sensing glow plug, and then number four, just at the end there. So now I'll do is just run you through how to test them. I'll just show you on the multimeter quick against a new one. So I'm just gonna set the multimeter up, just on the resistance setting there, and just on the tone one for continuity. And basically all that does on there, Try to set it on in range. As we join the two probes together, I'll just make a tone if it's got a circuit through it, and then I'll just show you the resistance reading. Now, just to show you, if you were testing a glow plug that wasn't in a car, basically you'd put one probe on the body of the glow plug and one on the terminal there. And see that one, the resistance will be hardly anything. Nice, nice circuit straight through it. So, really, on a glow plug, you want anything below about six ohms. So, anything over that. And it's high resistance on it so if you don't get any tone at all then it's open circuit and it's completely dead that's obviously the normal style glow plug and then on the cylinder sensing one pretty similar just go on the body and then you just want the other one in the center there for that so and just say so give it time to settle and just read the resistance reading through it there so all i'm going to do now is just test the glow plugs now you can put this on the negative terminal of the battery and that one on the tip of the glow plug, but I always like to do them right on the glow plug. So I'll basically just, I'll just try to get it on the camera, but I'll just reach down. So I'll just try to get it on that section of it there. And then obviously the other one on the top terminal. So we'll just run through and test all them quick now. So that's number one, still good. The 
two. Still not bad there, a little bit higher than the others, but still not bad. And the cylinder sensor one, just uh, there was no tone there, there's no resistance through it at all, so it's completely dead. So I thought it would most likely be that one that's the fault, but um, there's obviously the dearest one as well. And then number four. Again, that one's okay there. So. What I'm going to do now is just remove all the glow plugs. And you've got a 10mm socket for the uh, normal ones, 13mm socket for the cylinder sensing ones. So I always like to use quite a small ratchet. It's just you want to be careful with glow plugs. It's easy to snap them. A smaller ratchet, you've got a bit more feel for it. If they're mega tight, you want to give them a bit of a spray and just be careful with it. If I've got any of these that I feel like they're going to snap and not come out, I'll probably just leave them for tonight, give them a bit of a soak and try them a different day. So better to uh, to do that and take your time with it rather than risk snapping one. So um, let's try to get them all out now. Um, because the cylinder sensing one's the dead one, basically I'm going to replace that one, but I am just going to replace the others while I'm at it as well. So we'll try to get them all out now, just see what happens. I've nice. managed to get two glow plugs out and the cylinder sensing one, so the cylinder sensing one being the one that's completely dead. So, um, so it was saying number two that it had picked up, um, but it did have this in it last time. Um, number two is mega tight, um, but it might just be picking it up as an issue because of the resistance reading through the loom. So basically at this now, I'm just going to renew the cylinder sensing one and these two. I've just sprayed a bit of penetrating oil into number two to leave that, but obviously we have tested number two and it's showing as a good glow plug, so I'm not going to risk snapping that one off. I can feel it's mega tight, so all I'm going to do now is just replace these three. Now I'll just run you through the torque setting when we're refitting them as well, so we'll just get them popped in and just run you through, putting it back together, clearing the codes and showing if it's fixed the fault or not. We've got the new plugs ready. We've got the torque wrench. The torque setting is 17 newton meters. Now, if, not, if you're not using the torque wrench, 17 newton meters is not really a lot. It's quite a light nip, so I definitely don't want to be too tight. So, um, we'll just run all them up now. Obviously, make sure the cylinder sensing one goes in the correct hole. Right, so just refitted the glow plugs, torqued them up, and just put all the caps back on. And when you're putting the caps back on, just locate them into place and just give them a push home and just tell you a little click. They can be a little bit tight, but you'll sort of hear a little click just as they go home. So, but now that they're on, all I'm going to do is refit the engine cover, clear the fault codes. I'm just going to give it a run, and I'll just give you an update in a couple of days. Just give it a chance and just make sure it's definitely fixed the fault. So. So yeah, I thought I'd share the video with you all. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a quick thumbs up. And if you just want to check out where you can get any of the glow plugs from or any of the tools used, just check the description below and I'll put a load of links in there. So I'll just leave the video rolling while we finish it off. Thanks for watching and see you next time.